like that. And uh, we can uh, illustrate this in example one. So example one, what surfaces in R3 are in this uh, set of all uh, real uh, triples right here, are represented by the following equation, A, which is Z equals to three, and B, which is Y equals to five. All right, so let's take a look at the solution to part A. This is Z equals to three. So the equation Z equals to three represents the set, so all the points X, Y, Z, where Z is equal to three, and which is a set of all points in R3 whose uh, Z coordinate is three. And this is, this is just a horizontal plane that is parallel to the X, Y plane and three units above it, as in the figure below. So the equation Z equals three in three dimensions, that's where all the coordinates are, have a Z equals to three variable or a value. So if we have this, let's just draw our uh, X, uh, our Z axis like that. And this is gonna be our Y axis. I'll just make it a, a bit more 3D. So this is our Y. And then this is going to be our Z, I mean our X, like that. And this is our origin at the zero here. So this is our origin. And now we're going to go all the points that our Z is three. So in other words, we have to go all the way up to here, three. So here's a three point, but it's a plane number. So it's going to go to infinity everywhere. So it's going to, let's just draw this in 3D. So it's going to look like this. And all the way across. Like that and uh, since this is in front of it i'm just going to remove this remove this vertical i'm going to put this like this so this is above and now it's going to go below dot 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 make it dot dot better so that's at the three and this is going to be dot 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 so that's the axis is behind it so we're drawing the, drawing this in 3d so it looks like that there and we could write here as uh, this is z equals to three and this is a plane in three dimensions or R3 like that. So in R3. So yeah, typically uh, when I'm uh, writing this by uh, by pen, I'll write it like this in the Latin form, but when I type it out, it's typically I'll write it like this because it's, it's easier because uh, there's no button on my, on my keyboard for <laughs> the Latin version. All right, so now let's take a look at the solution to B. So B was this equation Y equals to five. So if Z is equal to three is a horizontal plane, then y equals to five as well, it's gonna be a vertical plane. So the equation y equals five represents the set of all points in R cubed whose y coordinate is five. This is the vertical plane that is parallel to the x, z plane and five units to the right of it as in the figure below. So if we draw our, uh, this is our z axis, and we're gonna go across here. I'll say that's our Z. I'm gonna put it uh, something like this. There's our Y. All right, let's make it even further. This is our Y, and this is gonna be our X, like that. And it, this is where Y equals to five. So let's go all the way up to here, five. And this is gonna be a plane. So we're gonna draw a, a line like this. Line all the way down. It's going to be behind it. Draw this in 3D just to make a just a giant plane like this, like that. And uh, yeah, as before here, I just fixed it all up, made it like this. And as before, we got to draw the dashed lines for the ones behind it. So I'm going to erase this right here, draw this across there, and then it's going to be dash line. So this one's going to be straight across, and it's going to be dash 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 like that. Yeah, so we have that line like there. And also we could shade this in like that, shade it in so it's a plane and shade this in like that. And yeah, so we have this equation is y equals to five and this is a plane in, so a plane in R3, let's draw this better. All right, so now that we have that, that's a vertical uh, plane right there. But now let's take a look, uh, just a quick note on context. Because this one here, we're asked to solve equation y equals five in R3. But if we're looking at two dimensions, so when an equation is given, we must understand from the context where it represents a curve in R2 or a surface in R3. So in example one, y equals five represents a plane in R3. 
But of course, y equals five also represents a line in R2 if we are dealing with two dimensional analytic geometry as in the figure below. So if we have uh, there, yeah, this is just our x, y axis. This is our x, this is our y. Then the line of this is our origin zero. Then the line is just like this. This is just y equals, uh, this is the five. In other words, this is y equals five. And this is a line in R2. All right, so now let's continue further. Now this section is out of the title here. So equations of vertical or horizontal planes. So in general, if K is a constant, then X equals K represents a plane parallel to the Y Z plane. Yes, yeah, so in other words, where X is fixed. So that's gonna be a uh, vertical. Yeah, this one's gonna be a vertical uh, plane. And then Y equals K is a plane parallel to the X Z plane. That's also vertical because it's a Z. And then Z equals to K is a plane parallel to the X Y plane. And that's gonna be horizontal and so on. So in the earlier uh, rectangular box figure above, actually before we get to that, I'm just gonna write over here, represents a vertical plane, a vertical plane, and this one's, uh, whenever Z is constant, horizontal plane, parallel to the X, Y. So in the earlier rectangular box figure, the faces of the rectangular box are formed by the three coordinate planes, X equals zero, this is the Y, Z plane, y equals to zero, this is the x, z plane, and z equals zero is the x, y plane, and also uh, these right here, x equals a, y equals b, and c, z equals c. And uh, we can see this if we just scroll up to that earlier uh, rectangular box we had. So that's this part right here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add all the points here. So this is b, if, if we remove this a, it gets to this point, we'll just call this zero, b, zero. And then this point across here, this is our uh, zero. I mean, no, that's gonna be, um, yeah, actually this is gonna be, yeah, zero. So we're gonna remove this B there. So it's gonna be zero, zero, C. And I'll just put this as the origin. And then we have this part right here. Yeah, this part here is gonna be uh, our, this is when we take this A right here, and then, but then we just remove the B as zero. So we're gonna get over here, it's gonna be A, zero, zero, like that. All right, so here I just teleported above, back down here, and I just, just added here. So that same figure went over, copied below. So we copied here, made it a bit smaller, and now we could look at these six planes there. And this top part is where the Z is constant. Um, actually, before we get to that, let's just go, uh, these, uh, this x equals zero, y equals zero, and z equals zero. These are the, um, yeah, those are the three coordinate planes. Let's move it over here. So we have the three coordinate planes, and then we have also these extra planes. So if we look at the coordinate plane, I'm gonna draw this in red, uh, where we have x equals to zero. That's the y, z plane, y, z. That's in the background here. Uh, let's make this uh, out in front of it. So like this like that yeah and then etc so that is uh this part right here this is our x equals to zero like that and then the next one is we'll just make a different line here so this is this where y equals zero that's this can be x z plane so this is y equals zero like that so that's this or y equals zero like that, and then this is a z equals zero is at the bottom, where yet yeah, z is completely flat there, at the bottom. Like that, and so on. That's our z equals zero. And then uh, let's draw a different color. It's a bit hard to see, but just to illustrate. And now this is the x equals a, is when you have it all the way across this, this face. This is our x equals to a. And then uh, y equals to b is all the way across this face here. And uh, yeah, yeah, x equals to b like that. Yeah, so it's a bit uh, messy there. Then we have z equals to c. That's a, that's a, the top of this box. But again, z equals to c like that. All right, yeah, so it's a bit messy there, but uh, I think it's uh, if you were watching the video, you could follow along. Uh, yeah, just follow along how I did 
Uh, but if you're just looking at the notes, it's going to be a bit, uh, a bit more complicated. But anyways, it just looks a bit messy, but uh, I think it's good enough.